Hi guys, welcome to episode 12 of 10 to 1, and thank you to all you new subscribers, I welcome you all graciously, if that's actually a word, I'm pretty sure it is, so we're going to go with that. Oaklefish, once again, the legend he is, commented on one of my videos when I said thanks to 200 subscribers, and that comment got me another like 30 to 40 subscribers, like instantly, so a massive thanks to Oaklefish again, he may or may not watch this, I'm not too sure, he's definitely subscribed to me, my first subscriber, and I was literally over the moon, I was celebrating for ages after he subscribed to me, but um, that's how, how it goes. He commented on my video, you know, he's a really nice guy, as you can tell. And obviously, he's given me a bit of a support there from doing that. So now I've got a nice little fan base already. So, if you're unfamiliar with the series, I start off with Division 10 and just show you all of my games from going to Division 10 to Division 1. And as you see, we are now actually in Division 1, the highest division on FIFA 13 online seasons. And we're trying to win it now. We thought we'd go a step further and try and win it. But we don't start off too well. As you see, we lo do lose our first game 2 0. But now we're using Chelsea, who st started to be a little bit better there. As you see, we get the 1 or draw against PSG so far, but we're looking for more goals, which is exactly what we go out and get. Fernando Torres gets his second goal to take the lead, and we do end up winning this match after the third goal here from Oscar smashing outside the box. But yeah, what I was doing last night actually, guys, because I was planning to have a COD video, but instead I only managed to get on FIFA. And the reason why is because actually, at first, I get shamed on him for quitting, but yeah, the reason why is because uh, last night. I started doing some wager matches, which is basically when you go on FIFA 13 and you play for money. I mean, you're pretty sure you've got to be 18 to do it legally, but if you're doing it with your friends, I mean, there's not really a law for that. Well, there probably is, but I mean, if you've just like, got a few friends over and doing some wager matches, it is a lot of fun. But God, it gets so competitive. You may think you're not a competitive person, but put a bit of money on the line and you're entirely competitive, which is exactly what we've done. And I almost lost £10 until the last kick of the game. Aguero gets me a goal and he actually saved me from losing £10 which is a relief I'm definitely getting better at FIFA guys I have noticed that because I played it a lot more recently anyway let's start talking about the gameplay now we're now using Liverpool and as you see we go 2-0 up from Sturge the star player of Liverpool's season team here they just seem, he seems to be their essential player followed by a third goal by Daniel Agar outside the box always nice to score a goal with a centre back like that so that puts us on 6 points, 6 games remaining, we're looking for 23 points, very far fetched at the moment but we're not going to write that off yet. And as you see we're going to start off now by using Milan which starts off a very scrappy goal, also we're going to start off with uh, Roma, sorry god I get confused here. My screen's actually really small, if you ever wonder if I make a mistake, my screen's really small on my computer so i got to kind of like really glare at it. But anyway we're now using Roma, we get the win to, make it, to get us on 9 points now and we're ready to use Galatasaray. I mean, like I said, guys, I'm trying different teams. Their star player is obviously Snyder, but also their striker, Yilmaz, worked wonders for me. As you see him there, just approaching the box, for out into the back of the net. Players like Yilmaz, you know players that rated around like the 75 mark, just seem to always be amazing at finesse shots, I always find. Get shamed on him as well for quitting. We're now on 12 points. We, we were looking at this promotion, or we were looking at the win of the title. It thought, you know, it's getting a bit closer now, it's looking good until this happened. The guy goes one on one against me, sweaters at a cross goal, and scores it. What you can do about that guy, you've just got to let it go in. But exactly what Aimed Shane will try and do is get up the other end and score, which is what we do there to make it one all there. Donovan gets on the score sheet, which is always good. And uh, he gets us one off LA Galaxy, but it doesn't get any better. He obviously was a very competitive player and gets a very jammy goal there for me trying to clear it. Poor clearance, smashed his head, he capitalised from it with fight and scored the goal. The penalty though gets us back on level terms. Donovan once again getting on the score sheet to make it 2 all. We want this win as much as he does, so we're going to go even further with Donovan, fighting off the lag, go 1-1, one one, do a step over and then finesse that. That finesse shot just went perfectly, it was, couldn't have been better. Some people just have an amazing finesse shot, like I said. And Donovan seems to be one of them. So we're now on 15 points, 3 games are made, we need to win all 3 of these. Once again, it's not an easy challenge in Division 1, but we're definitely going to go for it. Starting off with PSG, and we're definitely looking for a first goal here with Ibrahimovic. And what can he do? He's definitely approaching the box, looking for space. He gives him the yard of space, top corner finish from him. Don't give Ibrahimovic a yard of space, guys. That's a stupid move from a Division 1 player there. Never give Ibrahimovic that much space, because he will score. Likewise, Menez will always score a volley which is caught so well like that to make it 2 0 to us. Also, whacking out the 4 star skill means whacking out the roulette, getting closer, dodging the tackle, and just finessing that calmly under the keeper. I mean, this guy seemed like a Division 5 opponent, I've got to be honest, but he ends up quitting. I don't show that, but get shamed on him, and we're now on 18 points. And we thought we use PSG again, they seem to be amazing. But we can see the corner, which is always amazing to concede corners. It makes you feel so good about yourself. I'm just joking. I hate conceding corners. Such a horrible feeling. But it doesn't matter because we get another goal, even scrappier than his corner. So we will take that there to make it one or Menez gets on the score sheet again. Always got to play Menez, guys, if you can. Ibrahimovic, I said give him a yard space, let alone 10 yards. He's definitely going to score that. Ibrahimovic, 2-1 to us. And uh, we do manage to exit the game now. I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, we do end up getting the win anyway, 2-1, which is always good. So we're now on 21 points of 1 
one game remaining. We need two points from this game. The only off option we can have here is to win it, to win it this division. We thought we'd go with Man City, who don't usually let me down. They didn't let me down last night, especially with a uh, wager match. But there we are, Fabio Control, 86 minute. I know it would have been 0 0 anyway, but still good to concede that late. And to sum it up, he then gets another goal shortly after the 90th minute. Slides me up beautifully there with Sergio Ramos. Definitely a well kind of a well practiced player, what we're trying to say. Well experienced player on FIFA. And as you see, Benzema gets the ever goal there to make 2 0. We lose it so close to win the Division 1, but it was our first attempt here. So make sure you come back for the next episode to see if we can win it again. So thanks for watching Aim the Shame. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I upload FIFA 13 and Black Ops 2. Thanks for watching Aim the Shame. Twitter will be in the description below.